joining us again here on the Yes Carpet behind the scenes at the Yes Campaign Lodge. And I'm joined other by the playwright, Elspeth Turner. Hello, how are you? Hello, fine, thank you, Phil. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Thanks for asking. Did you enjoy the uh, the show in the auditorium today? It was such a fantastic show, such a fantastic morning, so inspiring. I feel totally galvanised. I mean, I haven't been back in Scotland that long. Yeah. I've been seeing this happen from a distance since yeah. so I've been in America. Um, but... So to come back to this and to be present in Scotland for this massive awakening is just so yeah. exciting. And there was a kind of international feel today, wasn't there, in order to really, but it kind of felt as if everyone from everywhere was there. Yeah, it felt like a big cross-section and it felt like it made it relevant to everyone in the audience so that we can all then go away and really spread the word. But it wasn't just about waxing lyrical about um, why we need this, it was, it was very much getting into the, a bit of the nitty-gritty of mm -hmm. the points of why it's important. Now you're a playwright from Scotland, mm -hmm. and you you write you know about Scottish mm -hmm. scenarios, culture, culture and scenarios. History, Tell us yeah. a little bit the, the your current play. Right, it's called The Idiot at the Wall, mm -hmm. um, which is a translation from a Gaelic expression, and um, it's set on a Hebridean island just after the First World War, which was a period that interested me. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I took a Celtic folk myth about two sisters, and I've reset it in a in a Hebridean house, and so it has the feel of a Cayley play, yeah. um, because we've weaved in Gaelic songs and dancing and loads of storytelling, and um, it's really rooted in Hebridean culture. So I hope that I've expressed that authentically because that's where my father's side of the family is from. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And do, does independence influence you as a, as a playwright? Absolutely. Well, it's about finding your voice, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I felt that I, I left Scotland at 18 mm -hmm. and wanted to travel, and I think a lot of that was about finding my own voice. And I feel that if you grow up without that sense of identity in your country, then something is maybe lacking in your own voice too, and you need that boost of confidence um, of like the ground beneath your feet yeah. being stable in order to yeah find out who you are and stuff. So um, I mean, today so we've 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 been speaking to a lot of people that have had the international travelling glow around them. And is it something that you carried with you on your travels? Is it something that you know? You about know, being Scottish. About being Scottish. Absolutely. You know. Well, sometimes you have to travel quite far to find out what that means. Yeah. And I definitely felt more nationalistic from a di from from a, from a distance. Yeah. And then returning here in the tempo that we're in now is just so exciting. And yeah, I can't wait to move forward. I feel sort of uh, bad about not having been involved yeah. before, but today, this morning, has just been amazing for me of seeing this the start of this community-based campaign, and that really. It resonates with me because for me theatre is all about community and a community yep. of people like a common goal and strong faith like driving you towards a finished product yeah. I mean that starts from a tiny seed and, and you can only get there with a lot of faith so yeah. it's good and how do you think you'll play your part in the role of you know independent Scotland what role will you play with I don't know let's talk more about that <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't I don't know yet I hopefully um, I can write um, about it and uh, definitely writing this play mm -hmm. looking into um, what it means to be a person from the Hebrides at that yeah. time um, that has just yeah wakened, wakened me up to um, our, our own identity and how important it is to acknowledge that and uh, like being in America really showed me that people over there are people in other parts of the world really envy our culture and yeah. envy our well it's so strong identity. isn't it mm -hmm. it's such a strong idea yeah yeah and yeah. tell us finally uh, what would an independent Scotland mean to you an independent Scotland would mean a strong strong voice a relevant voice um, in an exciting world right. well thank you very much thank you. good luck with the play thank you I'll come much. and see it hopefully I and, hope so. uh, that would be great. yeah because it's got a bit of Gaelic in it and of course uh -huh. it's a bit Gaelic so uh -huh. you know I'll, I'll let you know okay, thank you very much Elsie for joining us cheers <laughs>